Hey, I'm Trisha, and this weekend I went to both garage sales and the flea market. I was looking, of course, for games like last time, but um, I'm always on the lookout for other cool stuff. I love vintage uh, anything, pretty much, clothing and, and um, accessories and stuff. So Now, if you're just here for the video games, feel free to skip ahead. You can click right here, and it'll take you straight to where I start talking about video games. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to start with the stuff I got at the garage sales, which is mostly not video games, except for a few. So the first thing I got is this really cute dress, and it has kind of a vintage -y style to it, but it's one of those specialty designers for Target things, um, and I got it at a garage sale, I think, for $3. And I mean, it looks like it's hardly been worn, so it's in really good shape, super cute. I love dresses. Then at another garage sale, I got this cute top. Another Target item. <laughs> um, also looks pretty much brand new, just kind of a sheer, like, hangy, flowy thing. And then on the shoulders, it has these little crisscross kind of cut out. So that one was a dollar and then I got this romper for two dollars and this is from Forever 21. Cute little romper. Nothing too exciting. Then uh, we went to a really awesome estate sale and <laughs> I saw this belt and thought it was the coolest thing. Um, it's really noisy. <laughs> it's all beaded and has like all these crazy coral and teal which are like my favorite colors um these crazy beads dangling off it's just a tiny bit big but i'll make it work but super cool and that was a dollar and a bead just fell off of it i have a feeling that's going to be happening a lot then at the same estate sale i got this pair of shoe clips still with their little cardboard holder thing and I've never had any shoe clips. I've just always thought they were really cool. So I saw these and thought I had to pick them up and they were a dollar. So I got this really, really pretty vintage dress for $3 at the estate sale. And I love it. It's gorgeous. So the last garage sale that I found stuff at actually did have some video games. I'm usually on the lookout for cartridge games. Um, didn't find any of those, but they had a lot of PS2 games. I think I had grabbed six. And I went to ask them how much they were, because nothing was marked, and they said, well, they're a dollar each. They said, if you put them in a bag, it's $5, and you can put whatever else you can fit in the bag for $5. So I was like, hmm, okay. Me and my cousin decided to split on a bag, and we like packed that thing so full. I ended up grabbing pretty much all the games they had, just because it was gonna cost the same either way. So some of these games I got, I'm sure, are, are awful, but um, we'll see. The other thing I fit in this bag, just one of these normal Food for Less bags, um, was an entire set of Corel dishes. <laughs> and I already have a bunch of Corel dishes, but I love that um, most of them are all the same shape, so they stack really well, and I like to kind of mix and match. So I already have white ones and some with, with some different patterns. So I will just mix these in and use them, and I came with a bunch of bowls and small plates and everything, so that's awesome. I grabbed a bunch of games and a few DVDs. So these are all the DVDs I grabbed. I've never, I don't know, I've never seen any of these, but uh, I've heard people talk about this one. It's called Munich. I think it's really serious and probably not my kind of movie, but I thought Matt might like it. Then I grabbed a couple of Bruce Lee movies for Matt, because he likes those too. And then I grabbed this Gary Cooper collection with two old movies and Iron Monkey. And then for the games, these are all except one for the PS2. Uh, this is the only PlayStation game I grabbed, which is called Jupiter Strike. And again, I know nothing about almost any of these games, so um, I don't know. I just thought it was really cool how it had the original big box and it's in really good shape except for some nasty stuff in there. Then I got this SpongeBob's Atlantis Square Pantis. <laughs> and I just read that for the first time right now. <laughs> um, I have another SpongeBob game called uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom for the GameCube, which is actually a crazy fun game. Like it's a really, really good game. So I thought, oh, whatever, I'll give this a try. If it's good, great, if not, 
it didn't cost me anything extra because I was getting the bag anyway. Uh, then I got Jack and Daxter, the Precursor Legacy. A couple of Disney Pixar games, which I'm sure probably are not very good. The Incredibles and WALL-E. Um, Gran Turismo 3 A Spec. And I know the Gran Turismo games are always good. And then this one I'm excited about. Matt's been telling me for years I need to play this game. So finally I'm gonna give it a try. Uh, Kingdom Hearts for the PS2. It has Maleficent, which obviously I'm excited about because I love her. All of these games and movies and these dishes I paid $3 for. Well, the bag was supposed to be $5 for the whole thing, but because we crammed so much in our bag and it was kind of overflowing, we felt guilty, so we gave the guy an extra dollar. So we ended up splitting the bag for a total of $6, so we each paid three. I got all these games and the dishes, and my cousin got a bunch of clothes and some records, so that worked out awesome. Now on to the flea market, and just one bag this time, nothing huge. Now this first thing is not a game, but I was like weirdly excited when I saw it. Um, it's just a coffee mug. It was a dollar, and I know you could probably get mugs all day long for like 25 cents, but I just thought it was really cool. <laughs> So it's a Star Trek mug, and then um, on the other side, it has Kirk, Spock, and Bones on the transporter, and it's awesome. And I'm gonna use it for tea. We did not find much uh, for cartridge games to the, this weekend. Um, we got one Super Nintendo game, one NES game, and there's a reseller that's always at our flea market We've gone the last three weeks in a row. He's been there every time with the exact same stuff. The first time we did get some games from him and it wasn't too bad of a deal. He pulls his uh, more valuable games and kind of holds them behind his table and he charges more for them, but he has all the kind of more common ones um, lined up on the table and he charges $5 or five for 20 for the cartridges. And the first time we got some, but I think we had picked up all of his good games because the last couple weeks he's had the same stuff we left there the first time and he for everything else he seems really expensive so that's kind of a bummer because we have a really small flea market so sometimes it's like those are the only games we see but we did see some other random stuff mostly we see a ton of like ps2 games and stuff like that i think the first ones we picked up were these gamecube games the first games, uh, Matt picked these ones out. I think they were $3, I wanna say. We've got Crash Nitro Kart, F-Zero GX. So both racing games. And it looks like they're both four player, which is awesome. It really bums me out when you wanna play four players and the racing games are only two players. It's really sad. And then also a few PS1 games, Crash Bandicoot Warped. For the PS1, Rayman, and Mega Man 8. Those have broken boxes, but I think they were like $2 each. Then we walked by a table and the guy had one, one lonely NES cartridge. I realized that this game is probably not going to be good, um, but for some reason I love these kinds of games. I love the old game show games. I love the Jeopardy and Wheel of Fortune games. I think they're really fun to play multiplayer and they're just so silly and the graphics are so bad and I just I think it's fun. I don't know. I did know that they made this and I'm just so confused about how this is even possible to have this be an NES game. It is win, lose, or draw for the NES. I'm like weirdly excited to play this, you guys, okay? I asked the guy how much this was and his response was $2 if you take the zapper too. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I can do that. So I got a zapper and win, lose, or draw for $2. Then we got, got actually one Xbox game. It's Oddworld Munch's Odyssey. I've never played any of the Oddworld games, but I've heard they're really good. Um, Matt, I know, played the, the first two when he was younger and loved them. The Oddworld company actually used to be local where we live, so that's kind of cool. Um, so he always really liked these games, so he wanted to give this one a try. And this one was $3. The guy had like 10 or more um, Xbox games, and when Matt asked him how much this was, 
he said, I'll give you all of them for 30. <laughs> And Matt was like, no, I just want the one. And he, and the guy kept kept bargaining himself down for this entire lot of games. And Matt really only wanted the one game. And finally, he said, okay, $3 for the game. So he paid $3 for it. This is the last game we got uh, for the Super Nintendo called Populous. And that was at another booth that just had a bunch of DVDs. And we were actually leaving. We were on our way out. They had a bunch of DVDs in boxes. So I just went and peeked in and I saw this one. And I asked if they had any other games. They said no, um, just this one. So I got this and it was $4. But um, our friend Darren that was with us said he remembered playing it and it was really fun. And the guy that was selling it to me said it was fun. I mean, we'll see. But the cover art is super cool. There's like a castle with a like ghosty bearded man like flying out of it. And then some kind of like lizard head. So I was bummed we didn't find any Sega games still. We did stop by a game store that we have to see just if they had one or two good Sega games we could pick up. Um, but their prices are so high, higher than eBay, it's ridiculous. So um, I couldn't wait any longer. So I just went on eBay last night and was somebody that was selling a few games separately but had a really good combined shipping. So I ended up getting four Sega games that should be here later this week. And so I will show you those when they come. And so I'm excited to finally be able to try that thing. So that's it for my uh, garage sale flea market pickups for this week. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. And then our other channel, youtube.com slash cricket, is more dedicated to gaming and kind of comics and fun stuff like that. So you can check that out if you're interested. Bye. Hey, I'm Trisha. And this weekend, I went to both garage sales and the flea market. I was looking, of course, for games like last time, but um, I'm always on the lookout for other cool stuff. I love vintage uh, anything, pretty much, clothing and, and um, accessories and stuff. So now, if you're just here for the video games, feel free to skip ahead. You can click right here, and it'll take you straight to where I start talking about video games. Um, but I'm going to start with the stuff I got at the garage sales, which is mostly not video games, except for a few. So the first thing I got is this really cute dress, and it has kind of a vintage style to it, but it's one of those specialty designer. Um, was an entire set of Corel dishes. <laughs> and I already have a bunch of Corel dishes, but I love that... Um, most of them are all the same shape, so they stack really well, and I like to kind of mix and match. So I already have white ones and some with, with some different patterns, so I will just mix these in and use them, and I came with a bunch of bowls and small plates and everything, so that's awesome. I grabbed a bunch of games and a few DVDs. So these are all the DVDs I grabbed. I've never, I don't know, I've never seen any of these, but uh, I've heard people talk about this one called Munich. I think it's really serious and probably not my kind of movie, but I thought Matt might like it. Then I grabbed a couple of Bruce Lee movies. I love it. It's gorgeous. So the last garage sale that I found stuff at actually did have some video games. I'm usually on the lookout for cartridge games. Um, didn't find any of those, but they had a lot of PS2 games. I think I had grabbed six and I went to ask them how much they were because nothing was marked and they said, well, they're a dollar each. They said, if you put them in a bag, it's $5 and you can put whatever else you can fit in the bag for $5. So I was like, hmm, okay. Me and my cousin decided to split on a bag and we like packed that thing so full. I ended up grabbing pretty much all the games they had just because it was gonna cost the same either way. So some of these games I got I'm sure are, are awful, but um, we'll see. The other thing I fit in this bag, just one of these normal Food for Less bags, is for Target things, um, and I got it at a garage sale I think for $3. And I mean, it looks like it's hardly been worn, so it's in really good shape, super cute. I love dresses. Then at another garage sale, I got this cute top, another Target item. <laughs> um, also looks pretty much brand new, just kind of a sheer, like hangy, flowy thing. And then on the shoulders, it has these little crisscross kind of cutouts. So that one was a dollar. And then I got this romper for two dollars. And this is from Forever 21. Cute little romper, nothing too exciting. Then uh, we went to a really 
awesome estate sale. And <laughs> I saw this belt and thought it was the coolest thing. Um, it's really noisy. <laughs> it's all beaded and has like all these crazy coral and teal, which are like my favorite colors. Um, these crazy beads dangling off. It's just a tiny bit big, but I'll make it work. But super cool, and that was a dollar. And a bead just fell off of it. I have a feeling that's gonna be happening a lot. Then at the same estate sale, I got this pair of shoe clips, still with their little cardboard holder thing. And I've never had any shoe clips. I've just always thought they were really cool. So I saw these and thought I had to pick them up and they were a dollar. So I got this really, really pretty vintage dress for $3 at the estate sale. And I